Welcome back to Arizona Midday. I'm Destry Jajan. It is time now to get your day cooking. We are in the kitchen with Dee McCaffrey. Good morning to you. Good morning. Destry. Thanks for being here. Let's talk breakfast. How important is it? Oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, as everyone knows. And the reason for that is because at night when you're asleep, your metabolism is at its lowest. And so in order to get it started and get it moving and working for you, you have to eat something in the morning. All right. And that then makes you burn sense. calories for the rest of the day. And you really look at it scientifically, too. I do. In, in fact, we look at it as the components that go into the breakfast. You need to have protein. You need to have some type of fiber that can come from fruit. Uh, and today we're going to be using some ground flax seeds and oat bran as a source of fiber. And then you also have to have some good oil, which also comes from the seeds. Okay, terrific. Yeah. And you also lost a lot of weight, so you know how to make a healthy breakfast. Let's talk I about do. that. I lost 100 pounds over wow. 15 years ago, and I've kept it off because, first of all, I removed processed foods from my diet white flour and white sugar and then I started adding in healthier foods like fruit vegetables whole grains and we have some pictures up here and that is amazing so terrific and I'm sure you've been really focusing on eating healthy ever since I have in fact I teach it now to people I'm a nutrition counselor and I do teach classes and well that is great let's show what you're making today today this is called Dee's favorite breakfast and it's in one of the recipes that's in my cookbook called Dee's mighty cookbook we're going to use fat-free plain yogurt. So there's no sugar added to plain yogurt. And we use a cup. And portion sizes are really important when you're trying to be healthy and lose weight. And then in order to sweeten the yogurt, because unsweetened is very, very sour and pungent, we use a little bit of our natural sweetener called stevia. Just a couple of drops will do, because it's incredibly sweet. With and, no that's calories. Why, and that's why you'd rather use that than get like a vanilla yogurt? That's exactly right. Or okay. a pre-sweetened fruit at the bottom type of yogurt. We'll be adding our own fruit to this. Okay. And a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon can help boost your metabolism. Ooh, it's really good for diabetics as well. It's been shown to regulate blood sugar levels in diabetics. And we just mix that all up in our little bowl this way. And then what we do is to add some ground flax seeds, which will help add fiber to the diet, about a tablespoon. Yeah, I hear that everywhere, to add flax seed to almost whatever you're eating. Yeah, it, it has a good type of oil called omega-3, which will help to reduce cholesterol, keep our hearts in really good condition, and also helps to lose weight. And then you have some oat bran, a couple this tablespoons? Is, this is some oat bran, a couple tablespoons of oat bran, and we can mix all that in together, too, and get it all mixed in and, and um, blended together. And then I like to just top it with a little bit of um, shredded unsweetened coconut, which you can purchase in a health food store, some sliced uh, slivered almonds, which makes it nice and pretty. And then we'll add a little bit of raspberries, a few little raspberries to the top there. And that's And it's just like a yogurt my, dish, but it's so yeah. healthy. And then you can have this. Actually, you could have this just by itself, but if you're a little bit of a bigger person than me and you might need a little bit more food, you could also have a um, flourless English muffin. These are wonderful. They're a whole, I've never heard flour. whole grain, okay. uh, sprouted grain muffin with no flour. They make it from the sprouted grains. Mm -hmm. And then you could actually have a little bit more fruit. We've got 100% um, fruit spread there. And this it's, is no uh, sugar no, added, no which sugar is important. Added. Very important. We're trying to just keep all of the sugar out of our diet. And you, we get our sweetness from naturally sweet foods like fruits. Okay, and you have different fruits here. Is there any certain kinds of fruit that you should have like in the morning? All fruits are really good to have in the morning. In mm -hmm. fact, fruit is probably one of the best foods to eat in the morning. The other thing about fruit is it's a high water food. So it actually adds bulk and um, gives you hydration as you, when you eat it. It keeps you really healthy throughout the day and, and adds um, satiation to your, to your body so you don't feel too hungry in between meals. Yeah, well, this looks terrific. And, you know, I'm pregnant, and I think this would be a really good breakfast for me, too, because you want to stay healthy when you're pregnant or when you're exercising a lot, anything like that. Everything, yeah. And the, one of the things, the reason why I made it in this little bowl is because it comes with a lid that you can put on it and take to the office. Oh, perfect. It's really, really easy and simple. Well, Highly thank you nutritious. both so much for being here. And this is your assistant this who's been helping This is my assistant, us. Vicki. She's, she's actually one of my nutrition students. Okay. Um, and I have some classes coming up on April 26th. I'll be teaching a class for um, weight loss and diabetes. And then on the 28th, I'll be teaching a, um, a whole general nutrition course. Okay, excellent. And if you'd like to whip up this recipe, you can go to arizonamidday.azcentral.com. And to contact Dee and hear about her classes, you can go to deesmightycookingclub.org or call the number on your screen.